Today, I'm going to be installing the Gator soft roll-up truck bed cover on my 2017 F-250. Uh, it's the same kit, fits 2017 to the current year, 2024. I went ahead and already unboxed it. As you can see, it came with the hardware, the two side rails, installation instructions, as well as the actual soft roll-up. Came in this huge box, bought it on Amazon. Just gonna go ahead and kind of show you a quick and easy way to install it and as well as to why I chose this one over the Tiger or any other competing brands on Amazon that I've had in the past. So I like to go ahead and read the instructions. That way I just get a general understanding of everything that's gonna be coming up so I don't miss anything or skip any steps. But the first instruction, uh, serial number not a big deal. Number two, peel and stick the foam weather seals. They came in a little pack of four. You just go ahead and put them on the ends here of both rails. So I went ahead and did that. And now we're gonna go ahead and position the driver's side rail against the truck bed rail on step number three here. So I went ahead and put the driver's side rail in. The driver's side rail, you can identify it. It's the one that has the clamp here on the end. And the instructions say you wanna position this. Sorry, fingers in the way. This piece right here, as tight as you can against your tailgate, and then line up this seal right in here, flush with the edge of your bed. So right like that, all the way down. See it just right there, make it flush. And then you're gonna secure this with three of these clamps, evenly spaced, one right here, one in the middle, and then one up towards the cab and then tighten it with a half inch ratchet, wrench, whatever your tool of choice is. I went ahead and put the three clamps on, finger tight at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and get my half inch electric impact or half inch socket on my electric impact and tighten them down. And I wanna make sure that it stays flush up here. It's nice and secure. There's a little, you can see it's tight up against the tailgate. Let's go ahead and move on to the next side. Same procedure on the passenger side. Three clamps. Put the rail on. Make sure it's flush. Make sure it's tight up against the tailgate here to avoid leaks. And that's it. I had to go ahead and move the instructions inside here. Of course, Pacific Northwest. Started raining on me. But we're going to go ahead and let's see here. What step are we on? Number five, which doesn't really cover much. Just shows you how to kind of raise or level the actual bed once you get it on, or the cover, that is. Side note, though, I bought these floor mats here on Amazon. They're WeatherTech knockoffs. Uh, they were like 100 bucks for front and rear. And wow, I can't believe how nice they are. In fact, I actually prefer these over the WeatherTech. They're a lot easier to clean. Go ahead and drop a link below. Um, again, highly recommend those. But let's go ahead and start installing the tension blocks. So as noted in the directions, these are the tension blocks here. And they're numbered on the bottom. Kind of focus it here. It says 2 and 3. 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. And as shown on the image, you want to make sure you put 2 down into the groove on the side rails here. So again, number two here is going to go in the second slot right up here and you want to make sure it's pushed up against the cab as close as it is. Then you're going to grab a, the hitch pin. I'm not very good at filming here. And you're going to insert it where it says two down here on the bottom. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same on the passenger side. Next up, we're gonna remove the end plugs that came on the actual cover assembly. And we're gonna install the two bolts that came with the hardware kit as shown in the photo here. 
After that's done, reinstall both plugs and you'll have your bolt poking through. So these are the plugs that they're talking about here. You just go ahead and slide them out, pop on out, flip it over. These are the bolts that came with it, two of them. Not much to it. You just literally take your bolt, insert it here. As you can see, it's got a square end, so it's not sliding around. Just like that. Then you'll take your end plug and put it back on here. I'm gonna have to slide this down once I do the other side, but you see how it goes. You actually don't even need to fully pull this out, just enough to make room to slide that in. And then you can push it in. Kind of hard with one hand, but there we go. Next up's the fun part, where we'll actually be placing the cover on the side rails. As it says here, you want to make sure the front header seal is going to be on top of the actual bulkhead. That way it doesn't leak. So you can kind of see what we're going to do here. We're going to lift this up once you have it sitting on your rails. And you're going to thread that bolt into the hole right here. The one closest to the cab on both sides. Again, easily slides. And then we'll secure it with the washer. I think it's a plastic washer as well as the nut. So again, here's the plastic washer I was talking about. Once you get it threaded in, just go ahead and put that on. And then you're gonna take one of the washers, or the nuts, it's a lock nut. As you can see, it's got the nylon thread and it's a 9 16th, 9 16th. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those up. The instructions say to not over tighten them. Obviously due to the nylon insert, you don't wanna blow it out. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Just to recap, goes plastic washer, nylon lock nut. Again, don't over tighten it. 9 16 just you can use a normal box in wrench or a deep socket if you have one. Just nice and firm. Um, you know, don't try to break it off. It's the same on both sides. So that's it as far as needing any tools to complete the install. Now we can go ahead and unroll the cover, as it says here, towards the tailgate. Go ahead and place the header into the header stops, as you can see on the passenger side here, or passenger side and the driver's side. And then you want to grab the fabric, pull it up tight so you don't get any wind gaps, any leakage, anything like that, and you're good to go. The instructions, once you do get it unrolled, you can see it sits in here in a little, little groove. And it wants you to close it with the tailgate, but I'm gonna show you it with, with the tailgate closed, but I'm gonna show you with the tailgate open. Once it's in the groove, you literally just pull down, and you'll watch this thing lock into place. And then, as you can see, it's tight all the way across, completely flush. And you're going to go ahead and secure this. I think you should start up here at the front, though. That way you kind of work out any ripples all the way down. Just a couple quick notes here that I've learned installing it. You want to make sure that this thing, you can see it slides. So you can slide it each way. That way you can have... It'll be in line when you do pull it tight on each side and unroll it and it's not going to be overlapping or one side's too short or one side has too much it's kind of like a sheet on your bed so overall install went great as you can see here looks good i really like the you know matte black finish here on it um that's the one difference between this and some of the other brands you know uh, the other brands they're a little bit glossy they tend to fade easier in the summer uh, the weather, sun beats down on them. I previously had a Tiger on one of my other trucks. Don't get me wrong, it was a great unit. Um, it was made in, it was made overseas, unfortunately. I shouldn't say unfortunately. It was still, it was a good product. Uh, I'm not going to bag on it or bash on it. But I bought the Gator this time. Uh, they advertise that they're made in America. I'm all about supporting, you know, manufacturing in America. In addition to that, the quality of a couple of the components, mainly the tensioners, just, they felt a little bit, firmer i guess you can say you know not as stamped out not as 
rushed or anything like that along the process. Uh, you know, it was only $30, $40 more. And the reviews on the Gator on Amazon were, I mean, they were superb. A lot more five stars than there were, you know, any one, two, threes. You know, you're still going to have the picky people that are, oh, you know, it dripped a couple of leaks here and there, which is to be expected. I mean, it's a $200, $250 bed liner. You know, if you want to go ahead and spend $1,500 to $3,000, I would be upset as well. But overall, very impressed with it. I'm going to go ahead and use it for a couple days. Uh, as you can see here, I live in Oregon, so, you know, Northwest. I'm going to go ahead and do a road trip with it. And it's going to rain, so provide some feedback here in a few days and let you know the end results. Well, it's been a few days now. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick review. Took it out on the road. Hit several hard rainstorms. As you can see, it rained here this morning. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the tailgate. Looks, for the most part, bone dry in here. Uh, I guess you got a little bit of water right here, which I'm going to guess is coming. I read online that potentially, if a heavy rainstorm, it'll leak right here. Uh, one way to fix that, I guess, is you can adjust, <clears throat> undo the clamps here, and raise it up just a hair. That way the water drains more towards the cab if you're getting pooling out here at the back. Overall, <clears throat> highly recommend. Again, it's the Gator truck bed protector. Bought it on Amazon. Uh, this was the short bed model. I'll go ahead and drop a link for the long bed and the short bed below. I would say install instructions probably are the same or relatively similar for Chevy, GMC, Toyota, um, you know, pretty much any pickup truck. So yeah, just let me know if you have any questions with the install or any feedback or anything along those lines.